So one of the great challenges uh, for treating uh, cancer is the fact that the disease spreads throughout the body. And um, the way we deal with that now is using uh, radiation and uh, chemotherapy. And these are things that attack the DNA of the tumor, but unfortunately they also attack uh, the DNA in the, in the healthy parts of the body as well. And for kids that's a real challenge because they have many, many years for that uh, damage to come to roost. So we need to perhaps turn away from these DNA damaging agents and move towards other kinds of drugs. Drugs like biotherapeutics where we use the patient's immune system uh, to help tackle their, their disease. Uh, these are strategies which are very targeted to the cancer and don't affect the normal tissues at all. And uh, uh, we're really excited about this because we're starting to see, even in patients who have very advanced disease, that they sometimes can have great responses to these kinds of therapeutics. So Dave and I and others across the country are working together to try to develop these platforms, uh, make them so that they work all the time in cancer patients. It's really important for people to invest now in, in cancer research and provide more donations because we really are at a point where every dollar that's invested makes a huge difference in the outcome of our research programs. It's a really exciting time now and it's a really important time as we start to transition from our traditional therapies to these more exotic uh, concepts of, uh, of harnessing the immune response. Uh, we collaborate with people around the world people at the Mayo Clinic, uh, Oxford and Boston and I think it's fair to say that uh, our work and the work of our colleagues across Canada is really leading this field. You know this is the time to make our push to get these things from ideas to actual therapies for people.